This week's job was a Forest River 26 bunkhouse model trailer. Pretty nice layout. It's going to be utilized by two sisters who are traveling the country. Uh, and their install, they wanted to be able to, to live off-grid if needed, um, to be able to, to supply power for a 12-volt DC-powered refrigerator, and to potentially run an air conditioner for a brief amount of time in order to help keep the trailer cool. They're planning on heading out west. What we ended up doing was, of course, we went with a, uh, a servo uh, with a Touch 70 so that they can see it. Uh, this is mounted in the old charge controller slot, so it was a pretty easy install. And then let me walk you into the back, or uh, actually up into the front, and I'll show you where we installed the rest of the system. So in the front bedroom, underneath the bed, is a pretty nice storage space. And inside this space, we were able to fit uh, three Battleborn Game Changer 3 batteries, along with a Victron 12-volt, 12-volt, 3,000 volt amp, multi-plus 2, 2x120 two inverter. Uh, the system also has, on the roof, we mounted six 200-watt panels and a Victron 150 85 MPPT solar charge controller. So realistically, in uh, perfect conditions, they're going to be able to, to get, bring in about 1200 watts of solar, uh, which is going to help offset the, the running of an air conditioner. This system will have the ability to run an air conditioner for three and a half, four hours of continuous runtime. Uh, so if the situation arises where they needed to run an air conditioner for a little while, uh, they will have quite a bit of runtime of constant air conditioner running. The thing to keep in mind is that when an air conditioner is cycling, especially in a fairly small trailer, this thing's only 30 feet long. So in this small space, the air conditioner is not going to run 100% of the time. So if they can get their duty cycle down to somewhere between 25 and 50%, then that's going to allow them to essentially run the air conditioner overnight without any issues. Part of our testing included running some expected loads overnight and so the customer can right off the bat have a, a general idea of what kind of performance they're going to be able to get out of their battery bank. And so one of the things that was mentioned was running the air conditioner fan all night long and they were wondering how that would affect the, uh, the system overall. And so what we did was when we left for the evening, I turned the fan on and let the system run with the fan on all night long. It had a load of about almost 300 watts and it ran. And this morning when I came in and, and by the time we, we made it back out here to the trailer, it was uh, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And Overnight, the, the battery bank dropped down to 46%. I have to relocate the switch. Because this position down at the bottom, which is where it normally is, is going to be a little more difficult to get to so i'm just relocating a switch into the the front face of the lid here this is where the the old switch was mm -hmm. and it's tucked in and, and hidden and protected from here and because this is going to sit down and you'll see a final picture of it at the end but because this is going to sit on an angle down through the the floor here you can't really get to it where it's at so this is going to allow them to be able to turn on and off the inverter from up top. So if you have any questions, if, if you're looking for a similar build, uh, give us a call.
panels of solar here in Laurel, Mississippi, 228-363-9121. <music>